High school. It, the people thought that it was in fact uh, rain on the radar, but it just happened too quickly. And there you see the flashing there. It exploded in the air, and this is very popular. And this is a normal thing for it to do. And when it explodes in the air, then it makes more showers, and that's when you get the big bright flash. Also, people reported that there were sonic booms going on last night as well as it came through the atmosphere. And how often does this happen? Uh, we go through it every year, once a year at this time, but okay. they are rarely uh, anything like that. Most of the time we just kind of see some, some small sh sparks and showers. Not like this. This is almost an explosion. All right, what's going on in Iceland? There's this huge eruption. Uh, flights, I guess, to Europe were, were, uh, were stopped for a while. How long could the eruption last? I think this could last a long time. This is a significant event for Europe and for plane travel. You cannot fly an airplane, especially a jet plane, through ash. Now, I know that looks nice and you know all compact, and you could fly around it. But as it as it gets more diffuse away from the the volcano itself, there's ash in the sky, and you can't see it. Ash actually melts in the jet plane itself. In the engine, it melts and becomes obsidian. It becomes like lava glass, and you don't want that lava glass in your jet plane because you in the jet itself it will stop running and the plane will fall out of the sky. This is not just something like, hey, we we're cautioning you not to fly. Literally, yeah, I mean, Anderson, thousands of flights space, to be canceled. airspace is closed right here. London, Heathrow, Gatwick, Charles de Gaulle, all the UK airspace, Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Belgium, Denmark, all closed because there is ash coming down from this. And I'm going to draw a line to show you where it's coming from. There's the volcano into Iceland. It should, the ash should just kind of trail off into Sweden and Norway and go into northern uh, Russia. Not happening because the way the jet stream is bringing it down across the UK, it's then going to swing it back over toward the Canary Islands and then in the Mediterranean. Travelers could be stranded for weeks if this ash doesn't get out of the way very quickly. And I don't see it. When it does this, it's going to be floating around that atmosphere for a very long time. So there's no way right now for planes just to kind of go, go around it? No. Absolutely not, because you are in it. When, when the ash is over you, you can't fly up and through it. This is what an ash particle looks like under big-time magnification. You wouldn't want that in your lungs, even if they were flying through it. You would get it in the atmosphere of the, of the airplane. You certainly wouldn't want that in an engine, and that will melt in a jet. Look at it, just so, so very coarse and, and just scouring in the jet, and it literally brings the jet engine to a standstill and then the plane would fall out of the sky with no power. Wow. You, you, you just can't have that. Unbelievable. Chad, thanks very much. Sure. No worries tonight, Joe John joins us at 360 News and Business Bulletin. Joe? Anderson, a 360 follow tonight. Charges have been dropped against nine of the ten American missionaries held in Haiti earlier this year. They were accused of trying to kidnap Haitian children after January's earthquake. The group's leader, Laura Silsby, remains in a Haitian jail. Rescuers in northwest China airlifted hundreds of earthquake survivors to hospitals today. The country's state-run news agency says the death toll from Wednesday's 6.9 magnitude quake has hit 760 and more than 11,000 have been injured. U.S. home foreclosures are at a record high. According to Realty Track. bank repossession spiked in the first three months of 2010, up 16 percent from a year ago. The firm says it's a sign banks are finally getting through their backlog of troubled home loans. And we got a look at the Obama's 2009 tax returns today. The first couple made $5.5 million last year, mostly from sales of the president's book. They paid nearly $1.8 million in taxes and reported nearly $330,000 in donations to 40 different charities. Hmm. Anderson? Interesting. All right, Joe, thanks. Coming up next right now are B360 winners, our daily challenge viewers to come up with the caption better than one we can come up with for a photo that we put on the blog every day. Tonight's picture, German Chancellor uh, Angela Merkel visiting with California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger in Los Angeles today. Staff winner tonight is Ben. His caption... Oh, shut up already and take me to this in and out burger I keep hearing about. I should probably, I should have been more like, oh, shut up already and take me to this in and out burger I keep hearing about. Viewer winner is John from Germantown, Tennessee. His caption, we have agreed to increase trade to help our economy.